All right, guys and girls. review of this drone set thank you guys once again for joining me and this is something new that I will be doing for my channel um, I'm not even sure exactly how to go about this but I decided to do something a little different every once in a while so that's why I am pretty much doing this um, now I recently bought a studio series drone set and these are these, you know, basic drone sets that you usually see um, any art store that you go to, like Michael's, you know, Pro Pro Paint. And um, so, and I decided to do this review. Now, I recently was running out of pencils. Well, my favorite um, type of pencils that I usually use, which is the. Um, this, um, like they're not the leader, but they're like uh, they're made in uh, in Germany. Um, these Mars pencils right here, and I was pretty much running out of um, my favorite that I like to use is the 3H and the 4H. And the reason why I like to use that with my drawings is that they're pretty in terms of the lead. The lead is pretty hard. So if I give you an example. Like it's not too soft and it's not too hard. So as you can see here, if I make these lines, it's not too dark and it's not too light. And this is a 3H. So it's a pretty hard, hard lead. It's not as soft. And I was pretty much running out of um, these pencils because, you know, after a while you draw in so much and so much pencil sharpening, the pencils, you know, they get smaller. And for me, I'm the type of artist that, I don't know about you, you guys, but um, I'm the type of artist where I need the pencil to be quite long. So that way I have more, more control of what I'm doing. You know, like when it's really tight like this, like really small, like a really small pencil, like for example, uh, I have another one. Like this one right here is a lot smaller, this H. And you know, it's good for small little details. And you know, but when you want to do like broad strokes like that, you know, like any type of, like if you're drawing backgrounds or anything like that, or large, large objects, it's going to be a lot harder to do with a shorter pencil. So that's why I decided to get um, a new drawing set. Now, I bought these, the Studio Series drawing set in Barnes and Nobles, and they were pretty much like $19.99 and plus tax. It came up to about $21, $21 and some change. So it's pretty, it's not the cheapest, well, depending on your budget, but for me, that is not um, cheap. And given the fact that I also bought. A, a canvas uh, pencil wrap uh, where you could put all your pencils in and I bought this too and it came up to this plus what else did I buy um, I believe I bought a Micron ink set but yeah it came up to about like $50 and if you don't have a membership with Barnes & Nobles um, it could get really expensive really fast so I would advise you to you know, if you want this, you most likely can find a cheaper either alternative or a cheaper version on Amazon or eBay instead of going directly to Barnes & Nobles or Michaels or something like that because they want you to have membership to get a discount. And if you don't, you're going to pay an arm and a leg like for it. So, But yeah, I didn't have time to go on Amazon to get this. So I was in Connecticut and I had no choice to... You know, buy it at the Barnes and Nobles that I saw. 
because I needed new pencils and I couldn't wait for it to come in the mail. So now, moving forward, let me open this. Like I said, basic, uh, there you go. basic drawing set. You get the usual, so you got all the the hard lead on this side. Well, most of them. Well, no, there's some soft lead here. Well, it's pretty mixed. Well, most of the hard lead is over here. The H's. So you got your 5H, your HB. The HB is the standard uh, pencils that you see in school. Um, you got the 4H, really light, 3H, 2H, B. These are all the soft lead. So now in comparison, like if I go to, let's say this B right here. I know this is pretty basic, but B. So this, this lead on this is pretty soft. So if you're doing like a rendering type of drawing, Oh, sorry so you're gonna see so you see how much darker that is because the lead is like extremely soft so if you do any type of rendering where you have a the value values going from dark to light or anything like that this is the type of pencil you're gonna to want to use you know like if I was to draw like a circle and the light source is coming from the right hand side like right there that's the light you know the camera whatever the light is coming shining down right and then this is the ground plane now if the light is coming from the right side that means the shadows is going to fall on the left so this is a good pencil to show that, you know, that grayscale, that the values from dark to light. And you could just, right now I'm not even putting too much pre pressure on the pen. I'm, I'm doing like, my normal pressure, I'll say like 20% of pressure right now. That's how light I could get it. And then I could get even darker. Now I'm doing like about 30% of pressing a little bit harder. And you can see is already starting to show some values right here. And I can even press it even harder, like 50%, and get really in there. You know. So if you're doing like, these are good for like realistic, realistic type of drawings. The, the, the B, the B pencils. So it's gonna get really dark under here because it's further so it's the the spot that's really hidden from the light and then as you go out it gets lighter just basic grayscale and values and this see that's pretty much a B you could get really dark with B now it's all in between you know, when it comes to that B. So you have the 2B, the 4B, the 6B. So let's try the 6B. When you get really dark, it almost becomes almost like soft charcoal. Like this. Because you also get a charcoal set. Right here. So. The 6B is even darker. Let's try that out. Sorry. See? And this way, I don't even have to, because the 6B is so dark, I don't even have to press that hard. I'm going, I'm probably using only 20% of hand pressure, and look how dark um, the lead is. It's extremely dark. Extremely dark, not even trying. So that that is what you get with that with that six uh, B. And now now five H is extremely light. Now now if you're doing like drafting or any kind of like 
architectural drawings. That's where these extremely light uh, lead pencils come in, come in handy. So, as you can see, extremely light. You can use this for either fine details or like a sketch. You can barely see it coming up on the screen. So, usually when I start off my drawings, I will use, again, something that's like an H, like really light, so that way, one thing I notice is, like, when I'm drawing, like if I'm starting off with a head or something like that, right, simple. Like, if it's light, like this, it's easier to go back in and, um, like, it's easier to go back in and um, make, make pretty much make make changes when it's this light. You know, it's much easier to go back in, like, and to erase this. But if it's dark like this over here, like the um, the six Bs and four Bs and stuff like that, when you start to erase, it's a lot harder. Plus, when you're using your hand, if you don't have that um, that glove that protect that protect the uh, paper from smudging. Um, using something that's dark like this is gonna smudge a lot when you're going back in and drawing on top of your drawing. So that's why I go with this light, so that way if I go like this, you don't see it smudging as much. But if I touch, if I use like a B or something like that, and then I just go like that, look at that, it's smudging already, you know? So, because it, you know, the lead is pretty soft and it thinks you want to you know, like some people use that as a technique to like make show value or, you know, show gradation or anything like that. So you don't want to use a B or anything B when it comes to doing the outline or sketching of your drawing. This is mostly for rendering or, you know, the last finishing touches. You usually never start with this unless that's the particular style that you're, you know, you're looking for. So. Like if I was to go like if I, again, if if I already did the sketch and I'm going in now and showing, I want to do like a show shadow or a highlight or something like that. That's when you would use a, a B, any type of B, or if you're coloring in the hair and you want to show gradation or value or something like that. That's when you use the B. Yep, just like that. Alright, so then now, it, this set comes with, you know, your basic uh, sharpener. It comes with your basic sharpener. It's pretty good for what I've seen so far. Um, but you're going to want, again, this sh this sharpener shouldn't be your be-all, end-all pencil sharpener. You should have an electric sharpener. You could get the electric sharpeners for, like, I don't know, $50 right now on Amazon or less so it also comes with one of my favorite these type of races that they're, they're like um I forgot what they called um not gum races um they're like yeah I guess you could call them gum races um I'll show you what they are like right now they're pretty soft and you could um I'll say the, the pros of these type of races is that you can you can pretty much they're really nimble you can get into really tight spaces with this type of eraser the gum racers but the negatives like I was showing like you can pros you can break it apart just use this if that's all you need you know and then save the rest for later and you can get really tight do really small details and erase that. Have a lot of control with the gum races. But the, the, the only negative I can see, I can find out with these races is, is if, if they get really old, um, they tend to carry a lot of the, a lot of the, the graphite onto the races. So sometimes if you're not careful, 
this right here that you see the, the black mark it will still be on the eraser so if you're going to erase it like another side you carry over that and smudge uh the cleaner art so you gotta be careful but the positive thing is is if you know if you're used to using these you know that all you have to do is just break it apart and just keep you know breaking it apart until you get it make it clean again so it's really useful type of eraser and it lasts pretty long you know in comparison to other racers now the other races that comes with it is more of a it's not a gum racer but it's like you know the typical traditional eraser but these are a lot better than you know school erasers that also smudge so this don't last as long as the gum but is more uh, I'll say the best way I can say is more stronger in terms of erasing the lead like if you really want to clean up your artwork, you then this is when you use this type, the white eraser. It cleans the lead pretty good. And now, what is this? What is this? This is, I believe. Oh, this is just this is just a six B graphite pencil. A 6B is probably the softest, darkest you could probably gonna get. That's why they, this dude is black. It gets its own stock in comparison to all the other pencils. So, you know, extremely dark. Yep, these are extremely dark. Just drawing this uh this shape right here. Extremely dark. So if you want to get really dark really fast, you use this six B graphite pencil right here. That also comes in the pack. You also get these. These right here are just charcoal pencils, so they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, I could sharpen one to show you what it does, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's hard. You have a a soft, and that is a medium right here. That's a medium, soft, and this is hard. Charcoal pencils, and these are also charcoal sticks so if you haven't used these before if they're really messy make sure you have some paper towels and tissue and some water when you use these because they get really messy and um, as you use them you know the, the graphite breaks apart and um, you know you could use that the graphite to smudge and you know make do whatever styling and shading you want but you know be prepared to have them to wash your hands often if you're going to use this and I, I guess they're not really that good with um, regular paper. You got to make sure that the paper that you're using is charcoal paper or a mixed media paper. So this is the, the sketchbook that I have is a mixed media sketchbook. So you can find them on Amazon. You can use it for soft pencils, hard pencils, inking, um, charcoal. Not necessarily watercolors, but you can try th this type of paper with watercolors, but yeah so that's why I can use um, almost all mediums with this type of paper if you want to know what this exact sketchbook fire on Amazon is this right here the Can Sun Mixed Media okay and that guys that's about it these are graphite sticks Again, similar to charcoal, but more precise and less mess. So I guess I can try this out. This is a medium, as you can see. Most artists use these for still life, so they're not really for technical technical drawings or, or you know, like. I mean, you can use it for portraits, but if you, the type of drawing that I'm doing with my channel, like, I don't really use. Uh, these these graphite sticks.
Yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this review of the Studio Drawn series, um, Drawn Set. Um, guys, let me know if you like these types of videos, these types of live videos, um, and I'll probably do them every once in a while. They're not going to be, again, they're not the main focus of my channel. You already know what I do when it comes to my channel. Um, I mostly do drawing videos, um, how-to videos of a lot of different characters when it comes to gaming, anime, movies, uh, music artists, you know, so... And with giving a backstory on the characters that I end up drawing, but I'm trying to different. Uh, I'm trying to diversify my channel, so to do a little bit different. So it's not always the same thing um, each week. And um, I would like to do more live type of videos where I could do it in between the main drawing, so that way I can mix it up and you know not be have my channel just be a one note all the time. So. Hopefully, in the future, I'll be able to do more reviews of different art supplies and stuff like that um, as my channel grows, if it ever grows. But yeah. Again, thank you guys and girls for joining me. Um, I really appreciate it. And I check you guys later. Oh, and just to let you guys know, um, I will be doing a Game of Thrones drawing next. Either Game of, Th either Game of Thrones, The Night King, or. They just, or Sonic, the movie, Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie version of Sonic the Hedgehog, or I will finish the, um, the Mortal Kombat series that I've been doing, so I still have some characters to do from, uh, Mortal Kombat. Okay, guys, thank you once again for joining me, and i check you guys later. Midori out. Okay, I'm not going yet, I'm still, I'm still leaving, okay, stop stream. Okay, later guys.